Okay, we're back here, back here live uh, with our patient here. Uh, this is Dr. Jerry Cohen. We're here with teeth numbers 20 and 21. We're finishing up. Next step is to use your scaler. Get all that excess bonding agent away from the gum tissue. You don't want it there. Best way to do it is just take a scaler and go get it. Now, contours look great, but we got this occlusion to, to consider, concern ourselves with. So I'm going to go ahead. And if, like I said, the first thing I'm going to use is a fine football diamond. And I'll just trace out my marginal ridge. And just go ahead and burnish it down. See if we can keep it rolled. I like to try to keep the marginal ridge rolling versus a flat marginal ridge. Uh, we're just about ready to take the rubber dam off. Yay! Okay. And what I'd like to do is just polish the occlusal and then I'm going to use some points. I like the Centrix points. And uh, I'll be asking for the points next. And good. And just go ahead and load the first point. That's the yellow one. And we're good to go. Alright, let me just take this down a little bit more. I'm also anticipating her bite. And the cavo surface margin, if you look real close, there's our our enamel composite margin. Yeah. So I'll just run this. I like this very, very light touch on the handpiece for polishing. Again the other way. Great. Okay, polishing points. And right in here with the first one is yellow point. And I think at this point we can get our rubber dam off. So I'll need a pair of cotton pliers. We're going to go ahead and remove. Looks like we already got the floss out of there. Okay, good. So our floss, tethering floss is removed. Now we need the clamp holder. And I always like to instruct my patients don't close right away after the rubber dams off because we want to rinse you thoroughly, okay? There we go. Let me just slowly move this out of the way. And move to your left. I got it. That's great. See, everything good? Super. All right, we're rolling along here. Now, first thing we'll do is just gent it's a gentle tapping, so we want you to tap gently three times if you if you can. All right. Um, okay. So there's our high spot. Notice it's not on the marginal ridge. It's actually away from that. It's in the faucet area where we want it. That's good. Now she's hitting on this cusp tip, so we may lighten this up just a hair. So she doesn't get a lot of, you know, uh, wear and tear on that area. What happened was the old filling wore down and made a real saucer cup kind of relationship. So I'm going to do just a little bit of dusting right here. Tiny bit. That's all I need to do. That's it there. Now we'll work the rest of it right down in here. So after we adjust her bite, we'll polish again, and um, that that's it from this end. So this is Dr. Jerry Coma. We hope you learn something. If you're in dental school or if you're wanting to become a dentist, tap lightly. Uh, feel free to email or give me a call at the office or uh, contact us at at the private office or at FAU. Uh, we do offer a, a continuum at FAU for pre-dental students called uh, Intro to, to Dentistry. All right, look us up, check us out. Florida Atlantic University here in Boca Raton, Florida. 
I'm Dr. Jerry Como out of my private office here in Boca Raton. Take care. Have a wonderful day out there.